wrapping up our discussion of workspaces and our gear. This is Mac Voices. This edition of Mac Voices is supported by our Patreon patrons. Help support Mac Voices and gain access to the Mac Voices Slack and Mac Voices After Dark at patreon.com slash macvoices. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, this is part three in a three-part Mac Voices Live conversation about the panel's workspaces and the gear that they use each and every day. There are some big surprises in here, some things I didn't know about. I'm sure there's some things you don't know about. So we're going to go right back and let the panel do the talking. Trying to keep up everyone, throwing the links in the... Uh, well, it's like a gift guide to all over again here. <laughs> a very, very expensive gift guide. Yes. Yeah. Especially yours, um, Jeff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you started the trend, Jeff. Okay. Your, your monitor stand is like $900. How much is that butt plug thing? Butt plug? <laughs> yeah. I've got some expensive stuff going on. Oh, boy. Well, this is a bummer oh, that that stand isn't available. <laughs> Wow. That is too bad because it's really nice. And I was really shocked when I got it because it's just built really nice. It's not a piece of junk. Um, but um, darn, not available. Um, you know, throw the, the link in anyway. Um, oh, I did put the link in. Oh, did you? Okay. So, I put something it on the like that or maybe... You know, I, I could also get away with something that clamps to my desk and it's on a and it's on like an articulated arm that I could pull in and move out. That would be the 12 South hover bar. Yeah, the hover bar will do that. Yeah. Um, well, let's see. There's a bios on. They have a whole store. So maybe they have a new model that because I have a uh, like I said, that one is behind me. Uh, they used to have one that was like a, a much more flexible gooseneck situation but all you could mount on it was like a a frame that went around an ipad with no case on it uh regard and like they only made a certain certain ones of those and i think the most recent like thing that they made so you could put the ipad on it was for like a three or four generation back ipad or something so it was like I, i couldn't find any more things for it so i couldn't put a newer ipad in it so I was very sad about it, uh, but I bought the it. The hover bar duo. Mm-hmm. Because you can either put it on a base and have it be a thing that you pick up and move around everywhere, or you can clamp it to the desk like... And clamping so. it to the desk would be perfect. It's right here. Oh, damn it, yeah. Kelly. You're costing me $80. I know. <laughs> oh, what's that, yeah. the hover bar duo? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's good stuff. I, I think the stand I'm talking about is going to come back because they are advertising it in there store so it must just be temporarily out of stock and i see they now also have a two-in-one floor stand let's see if that's uh-oh <laughs> but jim's about to cost himself money oh yeah. it's twice as <laughs> it's twice as much money yeah there you go but it is in stock you can get it friday if you order within the next five hours and 46 minutes and you live here it might be your mileage may vary That's um, and like Jeff, I have a new stream deck. <laughs> oh, Chuck, thank you for the link to uh Amazon where it costs a lot less to get the, the hover bar. Certainly, certainly happy, happy to do it. Um, okay, oh, so I'm- I can have it tomorrow. Yeah, you can <sighs> so go for it. I, you know, I'm going to tell you, although I have a hover bar too, and I do not like it as much as that other thing I was telling you about, because I find it really difficult to get the iPad in and out of the thing, the hover bar. Mm. Uh, the new one is not so bad. It's just a squeezy arm, like a lot of smartphone yeah, stands no. are. So yeah, it hasn't that's, been too bad here. I, that's what I have. Mm-hmm. It's... I have it. I'm touching it, but I'm finding that I'm not using it. There you go, Jeff. La, 60 la, bucks. La, 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 la. Yep, um, 60 bucks. Mark, uh, Mark in the chat room, you say that's the one I use. It's quite solid, too. 
which of the many links I just threw in are you referring to? <laughs> I'd like to make By sure the way, I get... <laughs> just so everyone else knows, our internal chat is almost entirely blue links. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah I can't tell which one's which. It's it's amazing. Yeah. Well, it's, <laughs> it's like a box of chocolates. You have to click on it to find out. Blue, 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 blue. You never know. And then an occasional blue comment to go with it. Yep. Uh, my hover bar duo is arriving between 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. Mountain Time tomorrow. <laughs> You're welcome. And I look forward to the profuse thank yous. Review. In a mm. You know, I, the crazy thing is I'm looking at the edge of my desk because my my desk is narrow enough that putting lots of stuff just like sitting on it is kind of difficult. So I have bought all these things that clamp to the edges. Mm -hmm. And now you're out of edge. I'm running out of edge area on this desk. <laughs> well, I've that's why lost. that floor thing that that's why I like that floor thing that I got because I don't need any desk area for it. Yeah. Well, this is in stock. This is why I got electrical tape. Oh, and a that. couple a couple other things <laughs> I, I have. I have places to, to clamp things to, so I'm just taping things on at this point. I, I have a pop-up green screen behind me that when I'm not on here, I just, you know, rolls up and sits on the floor and can push it under. That's uh, awesome. I do yeah. still need to get a green screen. And um, they're reasonable. They're, yeah, they're, they were... It was hard to get one in April of 2020, but now they're a little easier. So mm -hmm. I think the, I think mine's called Julius. I think it's the brand, and I got it on Amazon. And it was about 200 when I got it, but now I think it's closer to 100. Yeah, newer and, newer makes newer makes a lot of this stuff pretty cheap. Yeah, and um, um, and I have a Dasney lights. Yep, same lights that I have. I think everyone does, but me. So, <laughs> yeah, Disney is very popular in life. When I got them, they were they were brand we new. Go, I, I got them because I couldn't get the Elgados. Because we all but, go, Chuck, your lights look amazing, and he goes, "It's these," and then everybody buys them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm an enabler that way, David. I want right. to get to you because because I'm saving Kelly for last because I know hers is going to be <laughs> um, extensive. So it's um, not. David, oh, like I, I haven't mean, just cost everyone a metric buttload of money <laughs> yeah well, you guys all have um but david i know you know we, we know that you have the uh the road uh podcaster and the road podcast studio device but what it, do you use where we see you now for your daily work or do you have a separate station set up um yeah when i am working from home i mean lately i have been working at the office too um I have, you don't see it, but I mean, Guy's been here, so he knows how the yeah. setup is. We, he's, we've done a podcast together here uh, that uh, I have, have one, my monitor you're seeing, that I'm looking at now with seeing you, and then I have a monitor right next to it. It's on a monitor, stand, monitor arm, and my DASNY lights are above me. Um, so the one on the right, generally I'm using for my work, and then the one here on my 32-inch on the left, I, I use for for uh, all the rest of the stuff and yeah the rocaster pro right here just to my left and this desk is kind of old school because it's got uh it's got a hutch so yeah. uh, so i've got the two doors above me here so where i, where I have this monitor is really kind of on a credenza so it's 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 a lot thinner it's not the the, the desk that's behind me is actually a it slides away from the actual desk the, the desk is in an l and then this piece behind me is a is a, just a standalone table right my wife generally would be in here because do have a chair in here too because i have to share this space with her when she needs needs office so um uh so but uh most of the technology I, it's immersed with uh, with me here you know i got my owc dock i got 10 port usb uh, uh dock here plugging in all the usb stuff power strips and then like like Jim, Jim says he got about four or five computers. I'm I'm just as bad. You know, a couple Mac Minis, and uh, I got the Windows machine down here and at my feet, and uh, uh, my uh, IO Gear four port KVM switch, so I can switch between all the machines. So, uh, but I think I'm overdue for some some reorganizing a bit because it's it has gotten kind of uh, archaic under my feet here. So <laughs> the with with uh, lots of switches and um all the other stuff that's under me here and uh 
Uh, but that, that's generally my work areas where I'm sitting now is where I'm doing most of what I do here uh, with this. Uh, uh, but the, you know, I got the arm. And my, my, my as you see, my mic arm comes from behind me because this that's because this is a credenza. It, I, I wish I had it to desk because similar to what a lot of you guys have because you can put the arm to your left and have it as part of the desk, just like what uh, Warren has with his desk. And uh, so that's what get, a, get a low profile one. Get a low yeah. profile uh, mic stand. Yeah, I've got something like that. I'll have to think about it. So, but or or get a new desk. <laughs> That's something to consider because this I've had this for quite a long time. But uh, when not when I have a kitchen remodel going on right now, I'm going to be really messing around with this. But uh, yeah. uh, uh, but uh, uh, yeah, that that generally how I have everything set up here is. And I, like I said, the the, the 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 Max right here to my left here on a stand, and then the Rocaster Pro right here. That's a lot of where the work goes. And I'm good. I'm good way it's set up for me. So for now. Kelly, you're yeah. going to be taking us to the end of the show. What 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 is what is because <laughs> because I I mean I know we've talked a little bit about your workspace, but what do you typically have? Yeah. Well, um, I'll tell you what. What I could do is I think I can join from my phone, and then I can just do it from there. Okay. So that might be easiest. So see, that's yeah. what I will do. Let me see if I can hop in the chat from if, if I can hop in from there and then I'll just add that and you can use that instead because it will be easier. Okay. Uh, and, and Mark in the chat room, I'm sorry. Um, Mark's trying to paste the link in for something. And for some reason, it's not, it's not showing up. He says, yeah, he I, th sees it. I think it's, it, it, it might be the, um, the security settings you have on the chat room. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know I had security settings on the chat. Room. Yeah. Cause whenever I, I would paste links, uh, I, I can't do it, but you can. Oh, okay. Well, my apologies, Mark. I'll I'll try to figure that out for the next show. Uh, sounds like David knows. So I I was not even aware there were security settings. Yeah. Yeah, there are. Okay. Okay. Well, I gotta you see keep you. an eye on it when you're live streaming, so I wouldn't worry too much about people posting weird stuff. You can keep right, an eye yeah. on it because you can get <laughs> people that get into the chat and post weird yeah, stuff that, you don't want. That makes horrible sense. things Tell sometimes. You. Okay, we Kelly's. have a first. We have two Kellys. Oh no! Look out! Here we go. As if one wasn't enough. <laughs> we could pin it okay. here. Okay. I'm just waiting for Kelly to flip out of the back of her chair, and then we just see <laughs> these feet in the uh, in the iPhone view. <laughs> okay, so I see two monitors. I that's see a, what looks a like desk. a little a light. Uh, Not cleaner than mine. It's a keyboard that has a whole keyboard, in the split of it. keyboard. Yeah, I tried that. It didn't work for me. Uh, another monitor is just pointing. <laughs> yeah, that, we're gonna see her fall out of that chair. Yeah, does, is that is two that laptops, the, uh, Kelly? So is she muted on both of her? Probably. I'm not muted on this one, but you can't hear me if I'm very far away at all. So I see. That's all. Does the uh, the speakers are the uh, old Apple ones, right, aren't they? No. Harman Kardon sound sticks. I'm That's what they are. Yeah. Harman Kardon sound sticks. Um, yeah, I, I had some and then I got them. Uh, uh, my old ones sort of disintegrated because I loved them very much and I used them all the time. And eventually the, the glue after about 10 or 12 years fell apart on them. And so now I have uh, new ones. Nice. So, yeah. So Perfect. I have those. And then in the middle, um, uh, let's see if I can point. Let's see. Okay. I'll give you the tour. So that's a... Um, one of those UV lights you can use in the morning, like if you have seasonal affective disorder, which I don't. But what I have is an alarm that goes off at 530 in the morning and offends me on a daily basis. And so that helps a lot having that for a few minutes in the morning. Uh, my stream deck is back there in the corner, sitting on top of my USB hub for my M1 laptop. Behind there, I have my backup hard drive and my USB interface, which is a uh, an iRig Pro Duo. Yeah, the Pro Duo. And then uh, and I use, so this is my computer. This uh, this side of my desk is where uh, Mac Voices and Daily Observations comes from every day. And this side is where my day job happens. And so, um, yeah. So A day job that requires double-fisted drinking. Nice. Uh, there's, there's, there's only water in my R2-D2 sure. water bottle with sure. my name on it. Jeff, you should have done Chuck's been telling us that thing that he drinks every week is water for however long, and y'all believe him. 
So <laughs> no, oh, really? we, we humor we? him. Did we? <laughs> Jeff, you could do the uh, the iPhone thing that Kelly's doing to uh, demonstrate yeah. the butt pillow, so we could actually see. I that. totally could. And um, then we should be done. The, maybe the for greatest, after dark. You know, because thing, no pants. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the greatest thing I think longer. on my desk is low tech, and that is this glass board that I have uh, because I love everything on it. I, I love that it's there, and I have the little rail for you know miscellaneous up there, um, but also. Uh, I use it to plan daily observations. I use it for um, scribbling the note about the thing if I'm on the phone with somebody and uh, it fits really nicely on my desk and it gives me a way to um, uh, sort of temporarily keep notes. I only need to know this for the next half hour or maybe the next day or two. And so it gives me a nice place to have temporary notes. And then this over here is a very cool charging dock. I'm going to go over and show you because it's got three spots to put things wirelessly. watch oh yeah mm. i've seen those yeah so you can do your phone your watch and your airpods at the same time that's correct and then uh it's resting on top of my owc thunderbolt dock which is what i use for the work machine so there you go very nice Kel. very nice so uh, up there is my light uh, i have one led light uh, when i use it which is not right now um I have that one. It does like all the different colors in the spectrum. So it can be other colors for things if I want it to be mostly. I just wanted it to be something where I could adjust the warmth of it because sometimes I want it to be a little warmer. Uh, the orange up there is the camera I use all the rest of the time, which is an iPhone 10 in an Urban Armor Gear case. And I use that with camo to talk to you guys every Tuesday. So there you go. I'm here. That's the desk. I got to tell you guys, this, this has come out this uh, and turned out a lot better than I thought. Um, I didn't expect we'd get into this much detail with the with the workspace setups, but I love it um, because it just shows how everybody <laughs> sets it up the way they want it for what they do. And you know, other than the comments about the ergonomics, which is always a concern, um, you know, this this is really this is great. Yeah. So <laughs> for after dark. I'll just leave my phone on and we'll go in the network closet behind me. <laughs> no, Did it just get hot in here? <laughs> we're dedicating a, dedicating a show to that, Kelly. Okay. I'm sweating. Okay. <laughs> uh, so the thing I wanted to tell you, I, I mentioned in the Zoom chat that uh, I have a story about this desk. So this desk is a giant desk. I can't even get the whole thing in frame. There we go. Also, Alfred Hitchcock. And there's my Jim Henson poster, but Alfred Hitchcock. So the thing about this desk is that I got this desk as speaker swag for speaking at Macworld. Whoa. Nice. In the backpack for Macworld that year, I pulled out all the stuff that was in there and there was like a nice microfiber cloth and a free year of this service and like a license for something. And you know, some sort of foam squeezy thing and whatever. And then I pull out Ergotron. This is like redeem this code for your sit stand D desk on our website. And I'm like, it's a coupon. You're going to give me like 10% off or something, right? It's going to be like a, like a, D- no, it was a 100% off coupon oh, that wow. I got for speaking at Macworld. And so I have essentially sworn my eternal allegiance to Ergotron. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. Um, so the only thing I don't like about their drawer is that it sort of puts this clippy to clamp onto the desk instead of just sort right. of drilling into the underneath. And so it kind of uses this space that I wish it didn't, but like, I mean, that really that's my only complaint about it. So I'd ask uh, for your money back. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Kelly, the quality keyboard trays that mm-hmm. screw to the desk come with templates. So you just tape them to the bottom of your desk. So you know where to put the screw holes. Yeah. I've been tempted by that. So yeah, we'll see. But um, yeah. So, um, and the uh, table is adjustable. I can make this like higher or lower depending on how I want the uh, keyboard to be. I wanted the keyboard to clear when I slide the drawer in. Um, 
like I wanted to make sure that it wasn't doing anything. My keyboard is from Matthias. Uh, it's the Ergo Pro keyboard from them. That's the two pieces. I think we talked about it last week, talking about ergonomic keyboards or something, because now I can put my hands like where my hands go on the sides of my body instead of having to hunch them together to type when everything's all in one place. So I like having a whole bunch of space between them in order to do that. So very nice. There you go. Very nice. Yeah. So, so web was web asked about my setup and I'm not going to take you through it because you guys get to, to look at it all the time. And you also know that it changes frequently. We only get um, to look at the part that's behind you. The half of your setup that you're using is the important half and we don't get to see it. Kelly, it's really, it's really not um, because over here, what, what I'm talking to you on, I'm sitting in front of um, just a, a 27 inch uh, iMac um, with um, one of the little holders that has my, uh, my Lumix DSLR on it. And mm -hmm. a, a swing arm for the mic. Um, this is my recording station. Um, and of course, well, on the Dazney mics, of course. Um, this is a recording station. I'm, you know, because I do a lot of this, I'm paranoid. And so this particular iMac only has on what I need to record the shows, the software. I, I just, I, I try to keep it as clean as I possibly can because it cuts way down on troubleshooting. And I'm always paranoid of inviting a guest on and then having technical problems um, beyond <laughs> what, you know, the, the software and the internet cause. That's something so, a guy would do. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, like that would ever happen. No, yeah. not at all. Um, but over there is really what, you know, that's, that's sort of my work, that daily working station and everything else. So it's part edit bay, part working station, 16 inch MacBook pro um, M1 over there, um, two 27 inch Dell monitors. Um, let's see what else, what else is interesting. Obviously, lots and lots of storage, um, a, um, an OWC uh, Thunderbolt dock, uh, so I have a few more ports. Um, but And my desks are, are worth, worth noting. Um, I made the mistake, because um, this has been a number of years ago, um, I got some of those glass desks that are great, except that they're glass. And I used to have one. Yeah, and, and I, I love them, but I really didn't think about the fact that, you know, there are weight considerations. Of course, there are shatter considerations, yeah. um, even though the glass is tempered. And so what I've done is, um, especially up on the on the risers where you might set, set the monitors, I, I, I took the glass off and I laid, um, uh, what, do you, what do you call it, just shelving across those, mm -hmm. those tops. So now I don't have to worry about the weight. And they're, those are supported on the metal frame. So they're just not bolted down. The weight of the gear that's on them holds them in place. And that solved that problem. Um, but I, I still, at some point, I would like to, uh, to ditch the glass because it is, it is somewhat limiting. And to, to Jim's comment about uh, cable control, I gave that up a long time ago because there's just too many things that change and too many things that, you know, you get into review and you unplug something, you plug it, plug it in, and then you decide you want to keep it as part of your setup. Um, you know, it just doesn't work. Yeah. Um, the, the audio engine fives up there um, on the speaker stands that we talked about earlier that were Jeff's fault that I got, and I absolutely <laughs> love those. You're welcome. Um, but aren't they yeah. awesome? More yeah, stuff off your desk. Yep, so, more stuff see, off your desk. And the circle they, of life. I just cost Jeff 80, $68 earlier this evening. Like, you know. Hi, Kuna Matata. But Kelly, by the time he gets around to the rest of it, it just magnifies. It's like a pebble dropping a pebble in the pond. The farther out it goes, the bigger it gets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's you know that's my basic setup. Um, there are a lot of little nickel and dime things, but um, but and I I will confess here on the air that um, thanks to Jeff's post in our Slack that my stream deck is on the way. My bigger one, my bigger one. I've got the uh, the six button, but now I'm going to get the fifteen. So. Do you use all the buttons that you currently have? Uh, oh, yeah. I've, I've outgrown the six real quick. Yeah. Yeah. In and fact, then I, you I, sell the six to David and then David gets one and then David gets his and realizes in real life he needs eight or 12 buttons. And so then Jeff sells his or David sells it to Brittany, who has finally decided that she needs to be able to live that push button life. And then. It's the but I can't ever deck. upgrade because there's only room for one right there on the side of my bicycle desk. <laughs> you know, I am. Tempted. 
Yeah, but Guy, what you said was interesting because I found myself not doing things with the Stream Deck because I didn't have sufficient number of buttons. And that's when it's like, okay, you know, now, now it's time to upgrade because I have been using it um, quite a bit over on, in this station. But over there, you know, I, I think, well, it'd be great if I moved it over, but I don't have enough buttons to do it. So now hopefully I will. I've been, I've been sorely tempted to get one. <laughs> with you know, the rest of, with the audio nightmare that is my life, I'm, I'm almost <laughs> afraid to go into the video nightmare. Yeah. Okay, here's what I want to know. Yes. Can you program it to be smart so the button does a different thing depending on what app you're in? Yes. yes. Then I can maybe get away. You can, if you're you, really you, quiet, you, you, you can, can hear Brittany deciding to buy a Stream Deck. You, you can set up a, a completely different panel of buttons for each, for different apps. And you can set up folders. So you can have a, a bunch of buttons in a folder as well. Hmm. So one, you can, one of the, you can uh, set up for apps, and then in, for each app, you can have folders full of additional buttons. Right. And okay, the, so one of the videos I mentioned, they there's also a thing called profiles that have some advantages over folders. What's the difference? Um, <clears throat> profiles you can use more than one place. Um. So you could have a button linked to, like a folder is tied to one button in one panel. And if you wanted it, you can't use it anywhere else. But a profile, you can set it up and then you could have different buttons in different panels. So if you had a, an arrangement of panels you wanted to use over and over again, you can put it in a profile and then you can, anywhere you want, you can just set up a button and boom. And then if you change the profile, it'll change every place that it's linked to. Hmm. See, and I still wish I could just pay the price and be able to use it on my phone without the subscription, like the pay once, because I already have a phone plugged into this sitting here usually um, yeah, to be my but, timer. And it's plugged into the computer and it's on Zoom and like as the little timer. And then I just switch the app over. And Elgato knows you'd rather do that. And that's why they don't offer it. That's why it's, a, it, that's why it costs money. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I would pay the full amount of money of a physical device. Oh. I just don't want to pay a subscription. Wow. I'm, I'm going to call a halt to this because I have an idea. There's a stream deck episode in our future. Since, <laughs> there is. So, yeah. so oh, we're going to, we're going to, I'm in for that. But do you really yeah. want to do it before I've set it up? Yes. Oh, no. So you, 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 you've got a whole week, Brittany. So that's okay. On. I don't do shortcuts on my Mac anyway. So. Uh, uh. Fair. Br Brittany, right, well, we should talk at some point because I've started doing shortcuts on my Mac. And uh, um, it's actually pretty handy because now, like, I have app groups that I use for certain things. And so I just have my shortcuts that. Uh, turn on what I need when I need it. I, I'm terrified it's going to screw up my entire library. And we're talking about, mm, I might be at about 500 shortcuts now. So that's my fear. <laughs> okay. I can <laughs> appreciate if I just that. open it on my Mac, I'll be screwed. <laughs> Backups are your friend. Backups are your friend. That's not how shortcuts works. Uh, no. If only <laughs> though. Oh. Hey, let's go around the room. Let folks know where they can find you, and then we'll uh, we'll give the, everybody their evenings back. Um, so I'm going to reverse it this time, and I'll start with Brittany at the bottom, and then work my way up. So, Britt, where can folks find you when you're not here um, learning about what desk should set up? Who should have? <laughs> should have, huh? Sure. Um, and I I just want credit for breezing right past that joke that I didn't say. Just I just want full credit. Thanks. Um, yeah, so you can find me on Twitter. I'm ADD Liberator. YouTube, I'm ADD Liberator. Um, if you need anything ADHD productivity related, my website's conquer.consulting. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks for having Ms. me. Ms. Gavant, thank you for, uh, yes. for giving us the grand tour, of, even with, with camera. Um, where can folks find you? <laughs> you can find me five days a week over at themacobserver.com where I host the Mac Observer Daily Observations podcast. You can find me over at The Incomparable where I host I Want My MCU TV as well as 
Greetings from the Uncanny Valley, which I do with Don Melton and is going to be making a comeback this year because it's about Westworld and Westworld will be back and I'm very excited about it. Uh, the rest of the time I host I Want My MCU TV, which is also with Don Melton and uh, Lisa Schmeiser. And occasionally I pop up other places on the network talking about different things or perhaps playing uh, ridiculously ruled game shows, depending on the day. So uh, the rest of the time, you can find me at aftershowpodcast.com where Mike Rose and I do the after show. And I'm probably missing something, but uh, David will have me back on In Touch with iOS again uh, because someday Warren will flake out and he'll want somebody to talk to. And so I'll be there. And uh, the rest of the time, you can find me on Twitter as Verso. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. Good to have you as always. Warren, I'm, do you object to the term flake out? No, I live by it, actually. So, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> in that so, case, in that case, where can folks uh, find you? Well, when, when I'm not, uh, when Kelly is not on the In Touch with iOS show, sometimes I'll be on there. Um, and then um, if uh, if the timing is right, I'll be on this show. And other than that, uh, the Facebook group is Mac to the Future. Um, yeah. Uh, come hang, don't hang. We don't care. Good to be here. <laughs> Great. Thanks for being here, Warren. Jeff Gamut, I'm afraid you have cost me money in more than one of your uh, your links. Thank you very much. Where can <laughs> folks find you? First, Chuck, you're welcome. I've got your back. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and you know, by 11 a.m. tomorrow morning, I will have my uh, 66 dollar iPad arm for my desk. So there's that. Um, Okay, people Hi, can Andrew. find me Bonus on Twitter and Instagram. Out. I'm Jay Gamut on both. YouTube.com slash Jay Gamut for my videos. And um, uh, here on Tuesdays, Thursdays, the big show. Fridays, the Mac show. And uh, and I get around, so I'm on other shows as well. Great. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate it. It's always fun. Guy Searle, the man who yeah. uh, has to has, have an extra big desk. Yeah, I do. Well, for all his big, big what? Desk. Desk. Oh. Desk. 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 Work surface. See, this it, is where diction is important. It is. It is. And there's other yeah, jokes I could make along those lines, but I'm not going to. Please don't. Um, yeah. You can, you can find me usually over on the MyMac.com podcast. We are about four or five episodes away from our 600th episode. Uh, for Gaz and me. Uh, you can find me on the Twitters. I am Mac Parrot and Vert Shark. VertShark.com is the website for all the odds and vids. And uh, let's see. There is Guy's Daily Drive, where I drive in my car and, and speak to absolutely no one in particular. Thank you, Guy. You're speaking to all of us, aren't you? Well, I yeah. am, but it's such a small screen, and I'm supposed to be driving, so I. Safety first. So if that was true, I wouldn't be doing it at all. Just just keep us in mind when you're. You doing mean the driving? Time. If it, yeah. safety first. No, the podcast. You wouldn't wild. drive. I mean. Yeah. No, I'm an expert. one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> right, Jelly. <laughs> Jelly has come to visit me again. Jim, right? Where can we find you? Uh, <clears throat> uh either proview.com, p r o v u e dot com. Or on Twitter at uh, ProView Gym, or in my backyard. Okay, all right. Well, hey, thank you for being here. Really appreciate it and, uh, and sharing your your information. Last but absolutely not least, David Ginsburg. Thank you as always. Where can now folks find you? Thank you for having me as always as well. Uh, you can find me uh, weekly at in touch with ios at in touch with ios.com you go to their website to visit our our show um i'm also on youtube at youtube.com slash dave g65 here on tuesdays on the mac show on fridays and uh twitter dave g65 thanks again chuck excellent thank you david folks i'm chuck joiner this is mac voices live we do this every tuesday night 8 p.m eastern 5 p.m pacific we would love to have you join us in the youtube chat room where i will learn a little more about security settings so folks can paste links in. Uh, sorry about that tonight. Um, and I want, definitely want to thank you, thank the chat room because they were, there's been, been a couple conversations off the side going on 
uh, a lot of great feedback. We really, really appreciate your participation as always. We'll be back next Tuesday. We hope you will join us then. And until then, thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode you will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.